just noticed you my queen You looking like some buttercream You know exactly what I need Hot cocoa sweet Hey everyone, so we are going to watch a movie together <laughs> um, I mean, I'm gonna watch a movie, you guys can watch it if you want But before we watch this, I have two movie recommendations First one is, they're both on Netflix, first one is The Call um, it's a, it is a Korean movie. It just recently came out. I had to see it the moment it came out because I'm a huge, huge Park Shin Hye fan. Like, I love, love her acting. So, I was really excited to see it, especially because a lot of the times she acts in the like very innocent girl like rich girl sometimes um role and for this one she like cusses someone out and i was just like oh my god yes <laughs> i was super excited um so that's one um if you want like horror movie vibes without it actually being scary like because you're a little wuss um i'm talking about my sister right now <laughs> That was like a personal attack. It wasn't even it wasn't even a general accusation um, <laughs> Then I definitely recommend it because it gives you horror movie vibes, but nothing at all is actually scary like some of my students are really against watching horror movies <laughs> and Even they were like yeah, we love it because it's not scary, but it's like ooh thriller, you know um so that's the first one and the second one is um the witness which is a 2018 movie and it is also a korean movie it's called mokyokja in korean um i have been waiting two years to see this movie and i finally it's been on netflix for a while i just keep i just keep forgetting to watch it so i finally watched it and I wish I had the camera on for that reaction because it was peak. And I'm not sure if it was because of how good the movie is, which honestly, I'd watch it again. So that's why I'm recommending it. Um, or if it was because I drank. So, in order to give you guys something to actually watch, um, I'm going to drink <laughs> and then watch a movie. Don't know what I'm watching yet, but we have um, a little bit of soju. In this bottle left I'm gonna take a shot and then I'm gonna pour the rest into my Apple Fox um, cider if you guys have never tried Apple Fox and soju I definitely recommend it because if you went in, if you went to college and you know jungle juice it's kind of like jungle juice where it's like it tastes so sweet and it's so nice but it will mess you up if you drink enough when I went camping <laughs> this past summer, check out the video, um, like all I had, all I had was a few, like a six pack of these and soju and I just kept pouring soju into the, into my cans and I was like, we're good. <laughs> okay, so I found missing, I'm saying missing because the title is missing in, in English, uh, in Korean. Um, Sarajin Yoja, which means like woman who's disappeared. Um, and Gong Hyojin is in it. Hopefully, I'm gonna like it. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm gonna have some good reactions for you. If not, then I really don't know um, what y'all are getting today because this is all I planned. <laughs> this is literally all I planned to do. So. For your sakes, I hope that this goes well. <laughs> okay. okay, quick stop, quick pause in the video to tell you guys that all of my footage looks exactly like this. Um, it's my first time ever recording or trying to record a movie. Um, I did it on Netflix. Come to find out, Netflix doesn't let you record videos, go figure. <laughs> um, so, instead of you guys seeing the, fil the film or the movie through bits and pieces, I guess you guys are just going to have to see it for yourselves and enjoy this entire... Um, I'll try to cut it down to like five minutes of me reacting to 
this awesome movie. Definitely recommend it. Okay, let's start. So apparently the entire first, like, I don't know, minute of this movie is a credit reel. And the credit reel is silent and sceneless. So there's that. <laughs> when you have a kid and you forget. God, this baby's adorable. Oh, okay. <laughs> do people do that? I honestly have no idea. I have never, I have honestly never heard or seen someone suck <laughs> the boogers from some child's face. Do people do that? <laughs> Children are dirty. I just... <laughs> I'm such a dumbass. I just realized that the Chinese nanny is Gong Hyo Jin. I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. <laughs> I was like, when is she gonna come? Like, do we need to introduce a few characters? Oh my gosh. I'm curious as to why they have her suck in this child's boogers. <laughs> oh man I thought it was weird though because she said Tana way too like Korean I don't know how to how to explain that she was like Tana but then she was stumbling on all of the other words it was weird all right that's this makes sense now this makes sense Why is there just a baby crying in the hospital with nobody to, like, look after it? I don't understand. I hope that's not reality. I hope it's being dramatized. What the fuck is this baby doing by himself? Don't mind him. We don't trust doctors. We don't. We don't trust doctors out here. Lisa Sanghua was the only was the only set of doctors I've ever trusted in my life. In any drama, in any movie, any other any of any other person who says their doctor ain't shit. They're doing good work though. Thank you. <laughs> But you ain't shit. Okay, I know, I know, I know that she's worried about losing custody of her child over this, but can we talk about the fact that you being concerned about losing custody over your child is actually more selfish than you going to the police to find your kid? Like, am I wrong? 
if I was in this situation, I think that I would still go to the police and be like, this bitch took my child. Find her, you know? And yet, she's just like, I could lose custody over this. Never mind, she's home. Like, no. No. Oh my goodness. actresses that I'm like obsessed with. Look at Daddy with her boobs all up like uh -huh. <laughs> I can't oh, I freaking love you. Get on. Get on. like this asshole that's after this woman's money or after his money that he lent her whatever the case is I feel like he is who is like he called the person who's now talking to her on the phone probably because he saw her write her number down so he probably was just like hey this is her number call her ask her for a ransom so we can get our money right but the power of being a mother is peak right now. Not like no point in my life would I ever run up on a dude that big with a tattoo that size, dressed like that, and think I wasn't gonna get my butt beat, you know? <laughs> the power of being a mother. Ooh, she said, boom. <laughs> That's actually a lot of money, like... I know before I said that doctors ain't shit, but every single detective in a movie that's not about detectives ain't shit either. How you gonna cut her off when she's trying to explain herself? Do, do your job. Do your job. Okay. 
어떻게 무슨? 아니 물론 제가 다은이 어머님 편이긴 하죠. 근데 8월 7일 날 감치 통보를 받았단 말이에요. 어머니가 바쁘다고 하시니까 경찰이 오늘까지 사정을 봐주셨는데 하필이면 요 사이에 딱 아이가 없어졌다고 그렇게 말씀하시니까 누가 봐도 이게 지금 의심스러운 상황이죠. 아니 지금 누구 말을 믿으시는 거예요? 저기 저... 다은이 한 대가 정말 없어졌다고요? 어머니 제가 도와드리려고 그러잖아요. 저한테 솔직히 얘기해야 돼요. 그래야 우리가 지금 불리하지 않다니까요. 아니에요, 맨 변호사님. 아, 정말이에요. 오. Sorry, I just realized that he's not the cop, he's the attorney. I hate lawyers like this. I really do, because I feel like, I feel like as much as this is like a drama trope or a movie trope, I feel like these kinds of lawyers really do exist. And I can't help but feel like, I don't know, like, what, what are you doing? You know what I mean? Like, why would you not believe her? Why would you not believe her? Why would she deadass be like, oh, my kid is now missing? Because if she wanted to, if, she, if, Say she was lying. Why would she continue to lie? Why would she continue to go on lying? At this point, nobody believes her, so why would she continue to lie? How about giving her the benefit of the doubt for two seconds, listening to what she has to say? I know that this isn't a real thing. I know that there are good police officers, good detectives out there. There are also some bad ones. But for the most part, I would like to believe that they're mostly all good. They mostly all do their jobs. They mostly all want to help, right? I'm just saying, in the in the circumstance, in the in the lens of this movie, what the fuck are y'all doing? Ugh. I'm not as upset with the child as I am with all the other adults in this movie <laughs> because at the end of the day it's possible that someone could have just like not believed him like she could have not believed him for one for two he probably didn't even know whose child it was so how could he say anything I'm not that upset with him the fact that he's coming forward now, I'm like, good on you for even remembering and like saying something, right? But again, if they gave her benefit of the doubt for two seconds, two seconds, they would know this too. Do your job. <laughs> 거 봐요. 그 여자 꼬이 좀 이상한 여자라니까요. 용서 맞아요. 아까 진짜 처음 때부터 보여줄 건가? 이런 거 이런 거 어떻게 해야 되나 봐. 아 이지선 씨, 네, 저 박형사인데요. <laughs> the only person doing their job in this entire film is this Ajishi right here. <laughs> Like, if I had to rank the people in this, if I had to give, like, MVP awards to anyone in this entire movie just for doing their job, this Ajashi right here is MVP. 
tell him? How the hell am I supposed to believe this shit? This can be fake. The fuck you show me? <laughs> Ajumas are just like you asked you asked you should the beggars beggars are not choosers ma'am beggars are not choosers I just oh she said baby girl you need the help you need it <laughs> oh my god I love this For the sake of being fair to the sexes, when the woman who was running the brothel asked for money in exchange for little information, I said, secure that bag, girl. Because I don't want <laughs> To be two-faced about this, I must say now, as I expect him to ask her for money, secure your bag, sir. If he says anything else, I'm not about it. If he asks for money, secure your bag, sir. Secure your bag. He's going away anyways not forever he might as well have some money on the way out